Holly Check in our area today. Goslin came to district court in Luzerne County to settle an unpaid bill for marriage counseling at a Whitehaven facility. The I-team's Andy Mahalshik broke this story a few months ago. He is now live in Freeland, where Andy, you talked with Goslin as she came out of court today. Yes, I did. In fact, she had plenty to say. Now, Kate Gosselin came to fame with her TV show, John and Kate Plus Eight. But today, as you say, she came here to district court in Freeland to tell her side of the story. And she insisted that she did not stiff a Luzerne County company out of more than $10,000. Kate Gosselin says she did not leave a Whitehaven company high and dry, that she does not owe Creative Energy Options more than $10,000. The company says Gosselin called them in March of 2009 for marriage counseling and told its owner, Dr. Sylvia LaFerre, she would pay all expenses for the trip and counseling sessions in Los Angeles. Gosselin testified that Dr. LaFerre was her ex-husband John's counselor and that he made the deal to go to L.A., Gosselin and her lawyer said it was all about celebrity and not marriage counseling. I spoke with Dr. LaFerre. What about her attorney said you wanted to ride John Gosselin as a publicity horse? I felt very badly about that. I waited to do this till now, till I saw that things had settled out. I didn't want to even bring this up while things were still fiery, hot, and unpleasant. John is in a stable place now. As for Kate... Well, she says it's all about getting to the truth. What do you want to tell people about what happened here today as far as the charges go? I told the truth, and the judge will hopefully um, see that, and his decision will be correct. Were you trying to get help for your, for your ex-husband at the time? Ariana, be careful. Gosselin's appearance in Freeland created quite a stir, a lot of commotion. People turned out to catch a glimpse of reality TV star. I heard Kate was coming, and we wanted to get pictures of her, so we came. What brought you down here today? Um, to see Kate and get a picture for my older daughter. <laughs> I knew she lived in Reading, and she had eight kids and, and that, but I didn't know that she had a divorce and all that. But I think it was kind of interesting looking out and seeing you guys here, and I'm seeing a bunch of other TV stations because frequently you don't see much like that here. And District Justice Gerald Fleischer says he'll make a ruling on the case in five days at least. If he rules against Gosselin, she has 30 days to appeal to Luzerne County Court. In fact, both sides can appeal in 30 days to the Court of Common Pleas. Reporting live in Feeling, Luzerne County, Andy Bohalshik, Eyewitness News. All right, Andy, thank you.